and the American Academy of Pediat Pediatrics push for puberty blockers in transgender kids in, is unethical, says Dr. Jeanette Nishi-Watt. Now, I totally agree with her, and even though that's the header that I start with, the story isn't really about her, or the video that I'm making. The video is about this person. Now, her name is Ellie Ehrlich. Okay. So, Matt Walsh sent out a tweet that said, Wow, um, Ellie Ehrlich is sending drugs to children across the country without prescriptions, parental consent, or any legal authority whatsoever. This is a crime on several levels. Now, let me, the tweet that I've got there is um, Ehrlich Click. Now, that's a, uh, obviously a handle on Twitter. There are over 20 states trying to criminalize hormone therapy, particularly for trans youths. So my friends and I have an idea. Sending out our extra prescriptions around the country. If you need hormones, I'm working with a distribution network to get you access. Everything is for free. No questions asked. We, are asked. Um, we have hundreds of doses of testosterone estradiol estradiol sorry i'm not a doctor or a medical professional and spironolactone that doesn't sound right but anyway available right now all our prescription by doctors and unused okay so that that's confusing firstly because it's prescribed by them and it's not it's not they don't know what dosage you need to take of this medicine um, each package comes with informative on dosages obtaining blood work etc i realize this is only a band-aid solution we need full access to affirmative medical care from professionals so this is the person that is now sending out drugs to people. Now, this isn't the most important part of it. So, I, I, everybody calls me, you know, you, you, we got this whole uh, transphobic, um, racist, anti-Semitic, you know, whatever, you know, homophobic. Everything has, has become a, a, either a phobia or a ism, you know, um, and... It really upsets me because this person is doing something illegal. Firstly, she's she's because the the drugs. Firstly, the drugs that that she's giving out to kids is used. Um, one of the drugs that the, that she's giving out to kids is something that is given to criminals that have um, been prosecuted for. I'm not allowed to say the word, but. Um, interfering with little children um, and have been prosecuted and that is used to basically um, chemically castrate them okay so that's the first thing okay second thing it's it's not been tested the long term and, and if you watch um, Mark Walsh uh, Matt Walsh's documentary which I really really I can I just go and watch it. I, I know it costs money to, to buy it off his website, but um, what is a woman is the is the title of the of the documentary. And it's such a such a simple question. And none of these academia and social justice warriors and you know transgender people and you know the PhDs and and um, a psychiatrist and psychologist and, and uh, whatever that's pushing this narrative none of them can e even answer this plain simple question what is a woman now this isn't the worst this person which identifies as queer now in the lgbt i know there's queer in there um and back in the 80s or, or, or 80s and 90s, queer was actually um, a, 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 you know, hateful term, basically. 
you know, like the N word type of thing. So um, I, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> and it's confusing if you read. Um, it's like, I, I don't understand what it is. Okay, that let's just leave it at that. But I think she was originally a female. If I can put it like that. Or should I rather mention what she was born with, but we can not marginalize and incorrectly identify her because her father was locked up for identifying his child as or saying she or her instead of the pronoun that this 12 year old wanted to do. But that's a sort of Matt Walsh's, you know, he, yeah, that's that's a fine line in, in the documentary because he, he didn't pitch up for the court case. So it went to high court or whatever because he refused. The dad and the mom has to sign consent. And he refused to sign consent and he didn't go to court. Uh, and then he got locked up. So, you know, it's sort of a uh, mis misleading type of thing when you say that he, he got locked up for for being um or for saying his kid is she or or her um see i i'm logical so people are going to get upset because i'm saying that but you, you know the, uh, or well the conservative side of it because people are getting fines and it's brought into law in canada that you are not allowed to, you have to now like jordan peterson said you have to now call somebody by the pronoun that they want you to call them by which is totally ridiculous but this isn't the worst about this um, erlich person she she's now had a couple of cases where people have gone to the police um, and she, that doesn't look like she uh, raped these people but it does look like she she had sex until they bled. I don't know what you call that. If it's not rape, I don't understand the concept of it. And um, it's now been done twice. She is being on the liberal side or the left side. She's being hailed as a PhD student of history and of women's rights. Um, or she's been invited to be do the PhD program on that. I don't know. Um, and 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 she's now. I think she's. She, I think there's a story going around that she is has um, literally basically forced herself upon somebody. So and I'm not sure whether or not that's true. Um, my source for that is a transgender person, female, transgender female, um, transgender person, which I follow, uh, which is conservative. So that's also out there. And I, I mean, it's not that I'm, you know, it's not that I only see the bad in people. I, I, I love watching Blair White and uh, she's also got a Blair Black I see now. So she's got two channels at the moment. Blair White and she started off with Blair White and as Blair Black and I must say that uh, you know for 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 somebody who used to be a guy she's quite a good looking woman <laughs> if I may say so myself um, as a heterosexual male by the way but anyway um, you know I just wanted to I just wanted to go through the story it's something that irks me a lot and i really find it to be real really disturbing um and this person should be in jail um for sending out these medicine this medical medicine out to kids and this community that is and i'm not talking about the lgbtq a plus community because the guys and lesbians that i know them that i've spoken to don't agree with this and there's Blair White, she's transgender, she doesn't believe in this. There's movements from the gay community to 
to against this transgender transition because it at the 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 in Matt Walsh's um, documentary, there's a transgender person, a, 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 a female that, tra that transitioned to a male, and it, it's it's irreversible. And doctors tell you it isn't. Uh, they tell the parents that it's just a stopper or a, 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 a just um, a just basically stops puberty for a bit. Okay, but it's not the truth. So, um, and that's documented by these people that Matt Walsh speaks to as well. So, um, and um, this is coming out of transgender person that yeah, you can't you can't even drink. <laughs> and I think you need to be twenty one to buy liquor in America, but they allow a child of 12 to make a decision on whether or not they want to be male or female so yeah that's bizarre but that's the world we live in and remember to subscribe like and share this video it's the only way this channel can grow and cheers and out